welcome back to another video on Clue Classic. It's been a couple of videos now since I've done a game of this, and I'm feeling like playing a game of Clue tonight, so that's that's what we're gonna do. So in our previous few videos, we had been playing a game with all five computers all on Inspector difficulty, and I was not able to win. So now we're gonna scale it back, and I'm just gonna go against two computers, but I'm gonna put both of them on Inspector and see if we can win with just less computers. Oh, wonderful. Another thing that you should hopefully be able to notice here is I've changed my recording settings a little bit, and so now you should be able to see my cursor. And it should actually be following my movements and matching what I'm clicking on. Another thing that I just remembered that I was doing in my previous Inspector videos is I was taking extra notes on my own outside of the game. Alright, so notepad and pencil acquired. So now I will go ahead and take notes here on Colonel Mustard's guess, and I'll write down what he guessed and the fact that Miss Peacock had something to show. So I have no idea what Mrs. Peacock showed right here, but if we keep going and I keep making notes about who is guessing what, I can probably come back to this turn and then deduce, once I have more information later in the game, I can deduce what she showed here. <clears throat> oh, there I go. Into what? Conservatory? Okay. Once again, I have none of these cards myself, so I have absolutely no idea what Mustard could have shown right here. And you had Conservatory. Uh-huh. Okay. So that means it's likely that that's what he showed on the previous turn here to Peacock. I can't say with 100% certainty, it's possible that Mustard had either of the other two cards of Peacock's guess as well. But likely, you showed Conservatory, since you just showed me the same thing. He's guessing himself. Interesting. And once again, you had something to show. Do I have any of these? Um, I do have Dining Room but I don't have Mustard and I don't have Wrench. So Peacock had to have shown either Mustard or Wrench, but out of those two, I have no idea. Since Mustard's previous guess, he guessed the Wrench as well, and Peacock had something to show. And now he's guessed the Wrench again, and Peacock had something to show. That probably means... The fact that Colonel Mustard just guessed the Wrench twice probably means he did not get an answer about it the first time which means Peacock didn't show it in the first turn. And if she didn't show it the first turn, she would not have shown it this one either. Most likely, unless Peacock also had another card out of that first guess. And so Peacock showed something else the first guess and now is showing Wrench on this one. And I guess the only way to know for sure is that we're gonna have to wait until Mustard's next turn and see what he guesses for weapon. Of course, Mustard's gonna have something to show on this turn, and uh, I don't know what it is because I don't have Billiard Room, I don't have Mrs. White, and I don't have Candlestick, so it could have been any of them. And the other thing about the computers being on this hardest difficulty is that they are now smart enough to make guesses with cards that are in their hand to try to deduce one or another category instead. So it's entirely likely, because uh, we've seen it happen in previous games, that when these computers are making their guesses, at least one card is probably one that they have in their hand. And at this early point in the game, I have no idea which ones they're holding in their hand versus which ones another computer is actually showing. Nobody has guessed rope yet, so let's do that. Let's go with what nobody's guessing. You had white, okay. Doesn't give me an answer about my other cards, but all right. So here is Mustard's next guess, and he has now changed weapons. He's not guessing wrench anymore. So that likely, I still can't say with certainty, but that likely means that the weapon is not the wrench, and that Peacock likely showed it in the previous guess, or it's a card that Mustard has been holding this entire time to deduce one of the other categories instead. There's the rope. You're copying me now with that rope. What else? Oh, well, okay. Now, this is the first time all game I've actually had a card to show. Two of them, actually. Oh, look at that. 
Um, I'll show you library, just because the rooms are the biggest category, so I will roll the dice and hope I can still get into a room. I can. Uh, out of these two, I have both, so I could go to either one and then try to deduce the other categories. So let's go to hall, I guess. Let's do that. Mustard is stuck on guessing mustard the last two turns, so let's... Hmm. Copy him and guess mustard as well. I don't think it's wrench. I don't know who has wrench, but I'm not. I don't think it's wrench. Peacock has guessed candlestick twice and then gave up and switched to rope, so I'm guessing it's not candlestick. I could still be on to something with the rope though, so let's repeat that guess. Mustard has rope, never mind. <laughs> I was not onto anything. This is the first time that someone did not have something to show here. So that, uh, what does that tell us? Because I have Hall, I have Revolver, but I don't have Mustard. So now we know for sure that Peacock doesn't have Mustard. Obviously I don't, but it's possible that Mustard is holding that card himself. So I can't say for sure that this is it. Uh, once again, I'll go ahead and show Hall. These computers are getting hung up on Revolver because I'm not showing it to him. And I'm still not going to show it to you. Didn't I show you Peacock last time? No, I showed you Library. Okay, well now I'll show you Peacock. So, you didn't do it, but I'm still not going to tell you it's not Revolver either. Um, I could go to Study, but that's another card I already have in my hand. But let's do it, just so that I can still make a guess this turn. Let's go. Oh god, Mustard has Knife. Literally every card that I know anything about is a card that Mustard has shown. I'm gonna go to the kitchen, alright. Hmm. There's Revolver again, I hear it. <laughs> if I can get away with not showing it though, I won't. Oh, perfect. Peacock gets up in the show, so I still won't show Revolver. Where are you going? You're just gonna stand out here? Where are you going? Are you coming down to study? I don't, I don't know where you're going. Should I go to the kitchen? Um, let's go ahead and do it. Because I don't know anything about the kitchen, so let's just go. I really don't know. I have no idea. I'm winging it. Ooh. Ooh, all right, hang on. Let's do the lead pipe first. That peacock has this. Let's see, what do I know? I now know that it's not Mustard who has the kitchen. It could only be peacock or no one. And then, what do I know about Mustard? Oh, I, I, uh... Oh, well, there we go. Actually, no. All I knew was that Peacock didn't have it, but now I know Mustard doesn't have it. So that's it. It is Mustard. Oh my god, I just figured something out. So, perfect. We've now figured out, inadvertently and unexpectedly, we figured out one category. Um, our weapons are getting narrowed down quickly, um, but we are still not really close on rooms. I have no idea. Of the four that are left, I don't know what it could be. That's pretty exciting though. I don't think the other two computers know that it's Mustard yet. Mustard might know it's Mustard, but Peacock doesn't, because Peacock's not really been guessing Mustard. Hmm. Yeah, see, I, I think Mustard knows that it's him. This is like his third or fourth turn in a row where he's guessed himself, so I think he knows. But now that we know Mustard is the correct card, I can go through my notes here about all of their guesses, and cross out Colonel Mustard, because no one could have shown Mustard on any guess, because Mustard is the correct card. So after going through my notes here and eliminating all of the guesses where Mustard was involved and crossing that off, we now know for sure that Peacock is holding the wrench. That is one of Peacock's cards, so I will go ahead and write it in here, which means that we have actually figured out the weapon as well. It's Candlestick. We also have just figured out one of Peacock's other cards is the Lounge, because there was a guess where we now know that she could not have shown Mustard, and she already could not have shown Revolver because I was holding it, so that means she had to show Lounge. So we'll add that in here. Okay, and that's actually all I learned by going back over my notes here. That's all I learned, but that's really helpful. I just learned another category, and I've narrowed down the rooms by one more. So that was that was a good batch of deduction right there. Is it going to be enough to beat these computers, though? I'm not sure. I'm kind of surprised that one of them hasn't... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god, I was just about to say I'm surprised one of these computers hasn't already tried to make an accusation, and Peacock might do that at the end of this turn. Because I know Mustard and Candlestick are correct. And I'm going to have to show Hall. Uh-oh. Oh, Peacock, please don't beat this before me. I was just starting to feel smart, like I might have had the upper hand. 
Whew, okay. Woohoo. Okay, but Peacock is apparently, indeed, very close as well. She just figured out that it was mustard. And perhaps just figured out it was candlestick too, so I'm actually really not ahead of these guys at all. Now, even though I know what the correct answer is, I don't want to encourage these computers in case they aren't sure themselves. So I'm going to throw them off and guess safe cards that are in my hand, like Peacock and Revolver. So that they don't know that I know that it's mustard and candlestick. Man, it's not ballroom, oh boy. Because Peacock has it. Now that means either, either, I make an accusation right now and I have a 50-50 shot that it's kitchen or billiard room. Or I wait one more turn, which means Peacock gets another turn and Mustard gets another turn. And one of them is probably going to make an accusation. Uh, let's try it. Uh, there's nothing to lose. So let's go ahead and make an accusation. We know it's Mustard. Um, oh no, can I, uh, I'm gonna have to pick a room. Okay, let's just say billiard room for a minute. And we know it's candlestick. And let me go over my notes a little bit and see if I can make an educated guess about the rooms. She went from billiard room on one guess to the library, her following guess, back to billiard room for the following guess, and now she hasn't made another guess since then. So it seems like perhaps Peacock is leaning on Billiard Room, because she went back and forth, and then back again. And the only person who's ever guessed Kitchen is Mustard, and he just did it two guesses ago, but then not on his following guess. But he went to the corner. The other room that's opposite corner from the kitchen was Study, and that's where he went. So on this next turn, if I let him have another turn, he could have hopped back to kitchen if he didn't get an answer about it. I think I'm gonna stick with billiard room because at least that's something that we have seen for sure has been guessed more than once. Ugh, I'm, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna say billiard room. It's a shot in the dark, let's just do it. It's billiard room. Hmm. No! Ah, jeez, no. Oh. Okay, well, if it's not billiard room, then it has to be kitchen. It has to be kitchen. I am positive that I'm not going to get another chance. One of the computers is going to make a guess here. Because now I have to lose a turn. So, mustard's going to go, peacock's going to go, mustard's going to go again, peacock's going to go again, and then it'll be my turn. And I don't think it's going to take these computers that long to figure it out. Okay, Mustard's not making an accusation, but he did go in a room this turn, so he probably wants to make one more guess before an accusation. He didn't get the chance to do that here. But she might make an accusation here after this guess. Hmm. Oh, hmm. Were you not settled on candlestick then? Why are you switching over to knife? Is Peacock gonna make a guess here, though? Ooh, she's not. Uh-oh. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Interesting. So they were not as imminently close as I thought. Mustard's going to ballroom. We know that's not it, but okay. After this turn, he might make an accusation, though. Hmm. Yes. No, they are hung up on revolver, because I haven't shown that to anybody yet. I don't think. I've still not shown it to anyone. And I still don't have to. No! Oh my gosh! Am I not gonna lose this game? Peacock's not going into a room. You could have gone in the library and you didn't. Where are you going then? I'm actually gonna get a turn here. I can't believe it. Oh my god, and then I can't make it into a room? I don't think I can make an accusation. Oh, I can. So let's do it. Let's make another accusation right here. Right out of the gate. This time we're gonna say kitchen. Candlestick again. If this isn't right, then I'm an idiot, <laughs> because I'm sure of it now. Okay, we got it. That was it. 
Oh man, so we won. We actually won. That is the first game I have won with um, inspector level computers. This is the first time I've won a game against them. Oh man, let me look at their notes though. So let's see, how close were you guys? Muster did indeed know that it was him, but he was torn between weapons because I wasn't showing revolver. And how about you? You knew it was Mustard, torn between weapons because I wasn't showing revolver. And then you were really not sure about rooms. Oh, and neither was Mustard. What the hell was Mustard doing? Mustard didn't know anything. What? Mustard only knew two rooms because he got shown two room cards. He hadn't even- he didn't even have, like, a, a guess or a hunch about any of the rest. At least Peacock had some hunches here between kitchen and billiard room, which is exactly the two that I was leaning on at the end. Alright, well, that was exciting. I was totally not expecting to sit down and win this game, so that's really nice to finally win a game of Clue again. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. It's, I, I should say this, since in our, uh, the, uh, must, since 